it's First Lady here, and I'm in the kitchen today, and today I wanted to make some chicken tacos, um, and I want to really just use some chicken breast that I'm going to just put in the crock pot, and I really want to make it cook slow and low with all the Mexican seasonings. So I have this, um, this is the packaging here, so you can see that the chicken breasts are $2.39 a pound. And so this is four pounds, uh, 4.2 pounds. And the total price was $10.11. So I have this and I'm just going to show you what they look like. I'm just going to wash them uh, in my sink and just quickly put them into the crock pot here and so i know there's different ways that you can wash them you could salt them uh, make a brine and use like lemon juice and all of that to really clean your chicken breast but these look pretty good to me i'm just rinsing them off really well with cold water and if there's some excess things that I don't want, little pieces of fat, I'll just take that off and remove that. But they're just gonna go right into this crock pot here. So I'm just going to put them in there one by one and just arrange them in the crock pot. And I don't mind a little bit of fat just to give a little flavor so I won't pull all of it off of these chicken breasts. And as you can see, this is like six of the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. All right, so now that I have those in the pan, let me wash my hands a little bit. All right, now we are ready to bring it over here. And I'm just gonna show you how I am going to season these chicken breasts. Um, and I think it's kind of important to have the Mexican flavors that you really want. So let me grab those so that you can see them. Um, I'm gonna use just some taco seasoning all right, I'm going to use some Rotel just to have the spice in there. And this is going to cook slow and low. And I'm going to also cut up a whole onion and a bell pepper in there just to have some fresh vegetables in here. All right, so I'm going to just open up this, pour this taco seasoning mix. This is the 25% less sodium. So it has a little less sodium, but you can use your own seasonings that you have at home. If you have cumin, cayenne pepper, um, if you wanna use some um, just regular chicken seasoning. Uh, but I want this to be sort of Mexican flavor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make it easy on myself and just do a taco seasoning. And the sodium on this is a little bit lower, 220 milligrams per serving size. So if you think about that, this is six servings per container, and I may not use the whole packet, uh, but this is gonna cook slow and low in addition to this rotel and onion and bell pepper. And it's gonna be um, kind of like a chicken burrilla. So we could have burrilla tacos, but instead of using the beef burrilla, I'm just gonna use like chicken breast. And it's gonna cook slow and low, and they're gonna tear up um, and it's just gonna be like shredded chicken that we can have for our tacos. All right, so I'm gonna keep this going, go ahead and add the seasonings to this, and I'll be back to show you how it looks right when I get ready to start the crock pot. I'll be back. All right, I wanted to show you just how I'm going to slice up these onions. So I'm really just gonna make these large slices. I don't want it chopped because I want to be able to still see like the, the bell pepper and the onion inside of this recipe because I like to have like some of the fresh vegetables on top of the meat um, as I'm letting it slow cook in this crock pot. So I'm just gonna 
just show you how I'm just gonna kind of julienne or slice these green bell peppers. Very simply just making them really thin. And so this is a whole green bell pepper and a whole onion, yellow onion. And it's just gonna go right on top of this chicken. These whole chicken breasts are gonna be juicy and tender. It's gonna cook low and slow because what I'm doing is I'm really just prepping this meal because it's gonna stay in the crock pot and then I'm gonna start my work for the day and then I'll come back and look at it later on after work when it's ready and we're gonna have dinner tonight. Uh, just having some easy tacos. So you can see I've got the meat, the chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this taco seasoning. It's really high in sodium uh, compared to you know, what you would use if you just kind of did the, the seasonings on their own. And I'm gonna show you that too, if you just would rather just use the seasonings on their own. But you can see right in there, I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this seasoning packet right on this meat, because I really want that good color. And the different seasonings are, you know, different spices, chili powder, paprika, onion powder, sea salt, and you know, some of the stuff you just don't really want. So you could just skip that step altogether and just use some of your own seasonings. I'm gonna use some onion powder as well uh, because I think that onion powder gives it a really good flavor. So I'm gonna use onion powder and just remove the lid so I could just pour it liberally. Cause I really want this chicken to be seasoned cause it's just gonna be in our tacos. Of course I have to use some of my Tony's and it has quite a bit of sodium too. So if you're watching your sodium, just be careful. You can do some um, other seasonings like Dash that don't have all the sodium. One of the things that I like to use is just some crushed red pepper because these red pepper flakes are gonna give it a nice flavor as well. So I'm just putting that in there so you can see. And chili powder, just a little bit more. The seasoning already has it, but remember I'm kind of making this like taco seasoning. And of course, cumin, which I'm running low on this, so I need to get this replaced, but adding a little cumin. That's gonna give it that real like Mexican flavor as well. Last but not least, I'm gonna add the cayenne. And the cayenne adds the heat without salt. So, you know, if you wanted to have a little kick, right? Just add a little cayenne, a little goes a long way and you will be able to taste it. This is a little Cholula hot sauce and I will put this on top as well. Just a couple of dollops there, squeezing it, shaking it out on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and put these vegetables on top, starting with the green bell pepper. And then I'm just gonna add these onions. I'm just gonna spread them out over the top. Oh my, you can already smell the Mexican flavors when I added that cumin. So good, this is gonna be so good. And the thing about this is, you know, you can put this on before you go to work, turn the crock pot on, and head out, and by the time you get back, if you have it on low, by the time you get back from work, your dinner will be ready. All you have to do is just add the taco shells, put whatever you want. I'm, I think I may do tacos, I may do put, pour it over some rice, so it's gonna be very, very good. Now, this is the large can, so this is actually a 28 ounce can, of this Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. And I, I love buying these big cans. I think I got this at Walmart. Sometimes they only have the smaller cans if you go to other places, but I'm just gonna pour this entire 
can right over the top. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to just put it inside the crock pot here. So I'm going to scoot this camera over so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So this is my crock pot. I'm just going to place this directly inside. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on top. So you can see that I have put the lid on top. And this is one of those great ones. My daughter gave me this. Um, it actually snaps down. The lid snaps closed. And I love it because uh, you don't have to worry about like things spilling because it snaps closed. And you can just have a tight fit on it and everything can just cook. So now in terms of the timer, I'm going to go ahead and select the high. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but I am want to try to get the timer to do, um, I guess I'll do six hours. Let's see if it'll cook low and slow for six hours. All right, so we got six hours on here. If you can see that, it's six hours on there. All right, so, all right, so this is gonna be our chicken tacos Mexican style and I will show you maybe about halfway through the process after about three or four hours what it looks like all right all right so slow and low on our chicken today and I'm excited because this is a different recipe I've never tried it in my crock pot I've done it before uh, on top of the stove, but this will be fun because that way I can step away from it, go ahead and do my work and then come back. All right. I will see you guys. I'll be back in a little bit. All right. Okay. This is about three hours into the process. So I want to just kind of pull the lid off so you can see just how this chicken is coming along. You can see how it's bubbling here. You can see the vegetables, the onions, bell peppers, those diced tomatoes and green chili. So you can see already that this chicken is like pulling away. So it's going to be like pulled chicken, but it's so spicy and good. And so I'm just going to taste a little bit. It's very hot. As you can see, I'm just going to, just going to try to taste it. Mm. Oh, wow. That is so good. Mm. So you can see how this would be great using this pulled chicken in a taco. Uh, you can make it a burrito, a burrito bowl, pouring it over some rice. But, I mean, it is really just tearing away just as you would expect pulled chicken to be. All right, so that's essentially what I'm doing here. And I'm not gonna do all of them like that just in case someone wants an entire chicken breast, but you could easily just get the chicken that's pulled um, and just make whatever you would like to make, tacos or a burrito bowl. Of course, you can make cheese. You could just put this over uh, chips, melt some cheese with it. I mean, this is very, very versatile. You could do really whatever you want to do with it. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of variations. All right, so these are these little small flour tortillas, and you can make chicken tacos with this, and you can see just how soft these are. Um, and, you know, you could have like three or four tacos to a serving for, for one individual. Um, and you really wouldn't need anything but maybe just a little more, perhaps lettuce, uh, some cilantro, some avocado, and you have some great tacos. Now, the other thing that I had mentioned is that you could actually put... 
this mixture over some rice in a bowl. And, you know, it would serve the same purpose if you just didn't want to have just the flour tortillas and just having tacos. But if you want to make it like a full meal, you definitely could serve it over rice. Uh, this is the jasmine rice 90 second. You could just do your own rice in a rice cooker. I do have a rice cooker um, that I use from time to time. And I love it because it's really, you know, it gives you an opportunity to um, make a lot of rice at once. And so I do that when I'm feeding a crowd, but I love my rice cooker, I really do. Um, but you could also, um, like I said, just put it over nachos because this is a mixture that you could make chicken nachos. So you can put it over chips, melt cheese. Um, I mean, there's so much that you can do. You can make a chicken, you know, enchiladas. I mean, the sky is the limit. And that's one of the reasons why I love this chicken recipe. Uh, because it is so versatile because it's really making so much that, you know, different people in the house may want to do different stuff with it, you know, so I'm just making it uh, and just showing you some variations. But the main idea, mm, as I taste this again, mm, it's so good. It's really for you to just use a crock pot and make this chicken. And, you know, of course, all I did was just put in the onions, green bell peppers, the different seasonings, the taco seasoning mix, and the big jar of the canned Rotel, big can of Rotel. So the diced tomatoes and green chilies really make this dish. You could use sour cream and just put this in a bowl and this actually could serve as a, like almost like a um, tortilla soup, you know? So, I mean, just again to kind of show you the consistency of it you know so it, it can you know operate like as a soup as well um because it's made its own rich broth and you can see that is in and of itself could be a tortilla soup all right so you guys let me know in the comments how you would use this chicken there's so many different ways. I think I'm going to do a rice bowl with this jasmine rice. And I'm going to make probably um, some, just a bowl with some cheese and some, uh, some of this rice. And probably add some black beans to it and make it a complete protein. All right. So the with the beans, the rice, and the chicken, wow, that's going to be good. So it's pretty much done, you guys. It's been in the crock pot here i guess for about four hours let's see how much time is left yeah so i think i started off and i gave it like six or seven hours um and i added more time to it because i thought it needed more but it really doesn't but i'm just gonna change the setting now to keep it warm so i'm gonna just keep it on low maybe and then later on, when it's time to eat, I'll move it to keep warm. So I hope you guys can see that. But now I'm just going to keep the setting on low. And for another hour and a half until it's time for my husband to come home and we can eat dinner together. All right. So try this recipe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I will probably just add a picture of what I actually make and put that as the thumbnail or something just so you guys can see what I actually did with this. But there's so many other things you could do with it. So anyway, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, share this video, and don't forget to put the notification bell on so that really whenever I send the video out, you guys will know about it, all right? Anyway, love you and continue most of all to be blessed. Bye-bye. All right, so I decided to go with noodles, making a noodle bowl with this recipe. Um, I thought about using the rice, and I think my husband probably will do the rice, but I'm going to do a noodle bowl with this, and I'm just going to show you how it looks. You guys know how to do the ramen. I'm not going to use the packet. 
I'm just going to use the noodles. All right. So I will show you what it looks like when I put it all together. All right. The ramen are ready. And I'm just going to show you how I just kind of move them around. So you can cook the ramen basically, you know, to your desired consistency. Some people like them a little bit more mushy um, or soft, some a little more al dente. All right, so there you have it. And remember, this packet that comes in it, this is a chicken flavor. I'm not going to use this. Um, these are not really that healthy, but they really taste good. But, you know, they have some ingredients in it that are not as healthy. And plus, they have a lot of sodium. And if you're watching your sodium, you definitely probably would want to avoid uh, using this packet. Uh, but, you know, in this economy, we can't afford to just throw things away. What you could do is you could use this in a bowl of, like, chicken and noodles. And just one packet with a lot of water would, you know, relieve some of the sodium in terms of concentration, you know, because... The more water you add, the less salty it becomes, right? Um, so anyway, just think about that. But now I'm going to just transfer these noodles over to this bowl. Just like that. And you know, all these restaurants are really coming out. Uh, these noodle restaurants, these Asian noodle bowl restaurants. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a tribute to those restaurants. But you know what? You can do it better and healthier at home, right? And on top of that, you save a lot of money. And I'm all about saving money in First Lady's Kitchen, so I hope you are too. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you, this is the chicken. Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is amazing. So I'm just going to take it and pour it over my noodles with some of the broth, of course. And you can use as little or as much as you want. I'm going to add another like big chunk of this chicken because I love this chicken. All right. This is my noodle bowl. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this cilantro that I have because I want to have that flavor on top. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this fresh cilantro that I have. I wish I could grow this in my garden. My cilantro that I had, um, the little bit that I had, I used, but it didn't really come back up. So once I got that, that was pretty much it. But I just like to tear a little bit of it off and just put it right on top in this bowl. And it's going to be really good because, you know, cilantro has that really good flavor to it. Um, I can't even really describe the flavor of cilantro, I just know I like it. <laughs> you either love it or you don't, you know, because like when you go to places that have like the cilantro, lime rice, like at Chipotle, I love it. I love cilantro. And, you know, in Mexican cooking and in ethnic dishes, you know, where you need that extra spice and flavor. Um, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a bitter herb, if you will, but it's hard to describe it, but I love, love, love cilantro, all right? So basically what I just did, I just kind of rinsed this cilantro and I kind of wrap it up in a paper towel and put it in like a zippy bag and just put it in the refrigerator because it's already washed. And so I just kind of put a clean paper, to put, you know, wrap it up in a clean paper towel. But, you know, use as little or as much as you want. I like a lot of cilantro. 
All right, so let's move this to the side. Okay. Now you can still kind of hear that chicken bubbling, right? <laughs> All right, so now it's time to taste. So I want to show you just very quickly how delicious this is. All right, so here is the time to taste. And I know it's gonna be hot, so you know how I always do. I always put too much in my mouth and it's already hot. But I just wanna get a little of this cilantro in this bite for you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, mm. Mm. Oh my, mm. That is amazing. You know what? I think what I need is just a little bit of cayenne and Cholula. So let me do that really quickly and show you that just to give it a little more kick. I want it spicy. So I have some Cholula and a little bit of cayenne, cayenne pepper. All right, so here we go. This is gonna make everything just perfect, you guys. So, all right, not too much, but a little bit, because I like, I like it a little bit hot. All right, and then the Cholula, shake it up a little bit. This is the Cholula hot sauce original. They have those in so many different flavors. And I tell you, you know, all of them are good. I've tried a couple of them. You can even put um, avocado, you know, a little bit of lime would probably be good. I don't think I have any. I have some lemons. I don't have any lime. All right. So this is it. Now let me taste it now that I've added a little more kick to it. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That, oh, yeah. Mm. That's it. Delicious, you guys. Oh. So anyway, I hope y'all try it. Let me know what you think about this. I had originally wanted to use rice, but I'm so glad that I chose to use the noodles. This is a great noodle bowl. So many other things you can do with this chicken. Just give you one final look at it. It's a crock pot full of it. All right. Okay. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. I'm going to finish eating this and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can know the next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching here at First Lady's Kitchen. We love you and we hope most of all that you continue to be blessed. Bye again. Bye bye. Bye bye.